Hey guys, WB Train Cards here, and welcome to another video. Um, today, we do have a brand new collection for this channel to have a look at. Um, now, this is the Lego uh, collaboration with Sainsbury's, and they have come up with this Create the World Incredible Inventions um, trading card game. Um, so, yeah, a massive thanks to Sainsbury's for sending me um, this sample of the collection and for sponsoring this video. Um, today, we will be having a look through this album and also at these five packs and um, to get a feel for what this collection is all about. So we'll start off by looking through the album and then we'll get into all five of these packs um, after that. And here we go. So there's the front cover. Um, you can see a pretty nice Lego design on the front there. Um, and then we get into the first page. So these couple of pages um, just kind of tell us what the collection is all about. So first up, um, eager for the coolest inventions join us and now this is because this album is kind of like a museum which will take you back through some of the coolest things that mankind have ever created um, which is really awesome we've also got uh, oh what fun there's a load of minifigures in the collection and you can also play games with them um, get creative uh, so some of the cards will have challenges on um, for you to build with real lego and then down here just a bit about the collection so it is exclusive to sainsbury's sainsbury's is the only place where you can get these cards and yet this is the album which you can saw them in the album does retail at one pound fifty um, in Sainsbury stores and the, you get two free packs with that and um, the packs themselves you can either buy them for 50p on their own and you can see it's going all through the ages so we've got prehistoric times to begin with then ancient civilizations then antiquity which is ancient Greece and ancient Rome uh, the Middle Ages, Early Modern Times, and then to the present, followed by the future. Um, so yeah, very exciting stuff there. Um, and we start off with Ready, Set, Explore. Um, and the two characters featured mainly in this collection are Lily and Sam. Um, then we do have the Hunters on, so this is the beginning of prehistoric times and you can see all these little slots, um, you can put one of your trading cards in there and there is 140 cards in total to collect with each packet containing four cards. Um, so yeah, you can see early weapons there, we've got the boat, um, clothing, hand axe and um, yeah, that is it for the beginning of prehistoric times and um, then we do have I guess the invention of fire so it's a really cool way to learn about the world and the history of humanity going back all the start to when we were just cavemen as you can see here um, next up we do have the Egyptians with pyramids and papyrus um, followed by Fascinating Empire. So this double page spread is on, um, well, it's part of the ancient civilizations part of the collection and it is on the Chinese Empire. We've even got the origin of, well, the oldest football, obviously. Modern football is not very old at all. But a very interesting fact there, um, over 2,000 years ago in Chinese military training, um, they did come up with a game called Kuju, which involved kicking a ball into a net, um, which is obviously what we still do today, and that was a long, long time ago. Um, next up, we do have writing and wheels. Um, so this is the people of Mesopotamia or the modern folk of the Middle East, and they were among the first to invent the wheel, which was obviously a revolutionary invention, which changed the world completely. Um, next up, we do have farmers and scholars. Um, so this is about uh, ancient India. And we've got quite a few inventions on there. You can see each of the inventions, it does give an estimate of when it was created. So uh, for example, the plow here used for farming, that was created about 5,700 years ago by the Indians. Um, next up, we do have thinkers and athletes. Um, so this bit is all about ancient Greece, um, which is the birthplace of our modern world, as it says there. Um, democracy, philosophy, and theatre are all from this culture and are all from this culture of revolutionary spirits. Um, so yeah, you can see it is really a very educational and very interesting um, trading card collection 
unlike anything I've actually seen before. Um, obviously, they did have this collection last year, and it was very, very popular. Um, so it's back for another year. Um, next up, we do have On the Road, which is, of course, about the Roman Empire, um, one of the biggest empires ever. Um, we've then got Music and Their Wonders, um, so this is about the Persian Empire, uh, which lasted for 800 years, and apparently it bought us one of the most useful things we currently have, which is mail service. Um, then we do have the Era of the Knights, which is now in Europe and in the Middle Age period. Uh, and then we do have the Castle, um, which is the centre of life in the Middle Ages. Um, followed by Maya, Indica, and Aztecs. Then we do have a new world. So this is the beginning of modern times. You've got people like Christopher Columbus there, um, who lived, who was born in 1451. So we're now about uh, 500, 600 years ago. And um, we've also got William Shakespeare there and Galileo. Um, Next up, we do have steam and electricity. So this is about the Industrial Revolution, which was, of course, the beginning of the incredible transformation that in only a few hundred years, we've gone from um, this sort of time to the world we live in now, which is pretty much unrecognizable um, from before the Industrial Revolution. Um, and then we do have the Age of Exploration. Um, so Christopher Columbus might be the most famous explorer, but he's definitely not the only one. Um, and this is Buckle Up and join some of the most daring explorers on their adventures. And then we do have From the Streets into the Sky. Um, so this is now to the present. So really the last century. And we've got the aeroplane, the car, and the space rocket all invented very recently in the grand scheme of things. And but yeah, all very interesting stuff in this collection. And I'm really impressed by it. It is a very creative way to learn about the world um, with a trading card collection. Um, then we've got the telephone and internet, which of course you're now watching this on the internet. Um, so that was a massive one. Um, also obviously the television, which is now arguably maybe being replaced um, by the internet and also the phone. Massive inventions, of course, that have completely formed our lives today. Um, there is something that resembles a modern phone, uh, but phones, of course, not that long ago at all, were very, very different. Moving on to the next one, we've got bringing light to the dark. So these are all um, inventions that it says um, they would have sounded like science fiction at first. And you can really say that with the light bulb. Imagine going from the sun being the main source of light and fire to all of a sudden you can press a switch and light comes out. What an incredible invention that was. And then we do have the miracle of life. Um, so this bit is about uh, modern medicine and how that has transformed our health and illnesses that people died of a few hundred years ago. We can now cure some of them um, quite easily uh, thanks to modern medicine. And then we've got burgers, films and pop stars. Um, so this is all about the current entertainment world. Um, we then do have the history of flying and then we do have into space So now this is focusing on the future and what we could potentially do in the coming years um, So we've got a colony on Mars there um, a Space elevator this all sounds absolutely crazy, but could well happen um, in the coming centuries um, We've also got space tourism imagine that imagine if you could go on a holiday uh, into space. Uh, very, very exciting stuff. Uh, welcome to the future there. So we've got Hyperloop, um, which is a new form of transport, which could get people, as it says there, from London to Edinburgh in just 45 minutes, um, which I believe might even be quicker than a plane. Uh, we've got bionic limbs there, robotic pets, um, and also robots, which of course, they've been coming for a while, and in the end, um, they could, Replace a lot of humans' jobs. Um, yeah, they just could completely change the world yet again. So yeah, that is it. Few is a good word um, to describe that. A journey in one book, just 54 pages, but we've gone through 
a lot of human history and um, a good few hundred thousand years there. Um, so what a museum that is inside this book. You can also play with the cards um, that you get in this collection. And so there's a kind of dominoes game um, that you can play um, featuring the backs of the cards. They've all got um, these dominoes patterns on the back. Um, so you can play a good game with that with two to seven players. Um, and you can also play rock, paper, scissors there. Each card has a rock, paper or scissor in the corner. And so yeah, that's very self-explanatory. Um, and we've also got game three there, which is create. Um, and now these um, shiny cards here, which are the create cards, this is a challenge on the card. Um, so yeah, that is it for this collection. On the final page, you've got a, a checklist there and with all 140 cards shown. And yet, yeah, there is the album. So now, let's get straight into some packs and have a look at the cards you can get in this collection. So yeah, as I mentioned, each of these packets, it does retail at 50p, but if you spend 10 pounds, obviously, on other things at Sainsbury's, um, you can get a free pack. Um, but yeah, we start off with the banana suit guy um, to begin with. And as you can see, he's got a scissors there. So in the rock, paper, scissors game, and that's what he is. And um, we've then got a Spectra, um, followed by Cyborg. I'm assuming this will be um, part of the future part of the collection. And you can see each of them does have a little caption at the bottom. So half human, half robot, and twice as effective. The Cyborg is the kind of girl everybody wants on their sports team. Um, and then we do have a create challenge there, um, which is the Ocean Explorer. Um, so your task is this ship has everything you need for your next underwater adventure. Can you imagine some of the creatures that lurk in the deepest depths? Build some in all of their super weird fishy glory. And they do have different challenges on these create cards. Um, moving in to the next pack. Um, each pack, by the way, does contain four cards, as you can see. And in this one, um, we do have the Cactus Girl. Um, so despite her rather prickly appearance, the Cactus Girl has a very kind heart. Plus, she's best friends with a hedgehog and a porcupine. And um, we then got Gorilla Suit Guy, um, followed by Tennis Ace. Uh, game set match, whenever the Tennis Ace sees a ball, he hurls himself towards it and hits it with all his strength, even if it's a basketball. Um, we then do have another crate card here. Oh, there's nothing quite like a triangular building, eh? Grab as many Lego bricks as you can and build a pyramid worthy of a legendary pharaoh. Um, so that looks like quite a cool challenge there. As we move on to packet number three. And in here we do have a clockwork robot. Um, Built as a toy that makes beeping sounds, the clockwork robot is wondering, is there more to life than beeps? Um, we've then got a wizard there and a corn cob guy, followed by a pop star. Um, so that is, of course, on the entertainment page. Uh, and then we do have a create card there with future flyers. So no one really knows what technical wonders the future has in store for us. Build an amazing technological gadget um, that you'd like to own in tomorrow's world. Moving on to packet number four. Um, and in here, uh, we do have Mariachi. Um, so for the passionate Mariachi, everything is a song, which is probably why he got fired from his job as a librarian. And um, we've then got the classic alien, um, the Easter bunny suit guy, and also another crate task here. Um, only two decades ago, mobile phones were huge, heavy things without any fancy extras today they are full of amazing tech build a mobile phone you'd like to have and don't forget the charger um, and then we do have the final pack so you can see in each pack and um, you get three normal cards and then one shiny create card as well um, so yeah overall a very very interesting collection uh, i hope you guys will agree so we've got the tennis ace again cat costume girl and then downhill skier 
and finally um, this last shark create task. And so yeah, I'll just stick a few of these cards in the binder and we'll have a look at what they look like inside. All right, so there we are on this page. You can see we've got two cards um, in the album there with the Spectra and also the Pyramid Create task. Um, and yeah, hopefully um, we can soon get to all 140 cards in the collection. Overall, um, this is my honest opinion, I do really like this collection. It's not like one I've seen before, it's got a very interesting um, way to do a trading card collection and it is very, very educational. So yeah, it's a great way to learn about the world um, while having some fun collecting as well. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that thumbs up button and of course, I will see you next time.